Have you ever had your paint mixes come out dull, muddied, and different variations of brown, and you can't figure out why that is? Well, the answer to that is actually deceptively simple. Let me explain. So to understand why you're getting brown, muddied out paint mixes, we need to go back to the basics, and we need to go back to this, your primary color wheel. We all know that red, blue, and yellow are gonna be your primary colors, you mix two of them together to get your secondary colors, your oranges, your greens, your purples. And by definition, if you mix all three primary colors together, you should be getting black. But in actuality, what you get is a brown. And you get a brown for one simple reason. And that is, it is very, very, very difficult to get a pure pigment. Meaning all of your paints that you have will have secondary or second placement colors in it. And that is the caveat as to why you're getting brown muddied out paint mixes. Let me show you on the canvas and let me show you from actually mixing up some paint what I'm talking about. So here we are, I have our primary colors laid out. I have our yellows, our reds, and our blues laid out similar to the color wheel. But I also have variations of your primary color. So obviously we have our primary yellow, but we also have a cadmium yellow, and that is a yellow that is biased towards orange or red. I have a cadmium red, that is a red that is biased towards orange. I have a crimson, that is a red that is biased towards purple. I have an ultramarine, which is a blue that's biased towards purple, and I have a fallow green, which is a blue that is biased towards green. So we all know that if you mix your primary blue and your primary yellow, you're going to get green. If you mix your primary blue, your yellow, and your red, you're going to get a nice brown color that nobody wants. And this is what I was discussing about pigments not being pure. So let's show just a simple demonstration. Let's mix up a green with a primary blue and a primary yellow. So there you go, you get a nice, fairly consistent green. Now what happens if we mix a ultramarine, so this is a blue that is biased towards purple, and a cadmium yellow, which is a yellow that's biased towards red together. How does that green turn out? So as you can see, that green is muddied, it's darker, it's not as alive and vibrant as your primary greens. And that is because we are adding in the third color. We're adding in the red when we didn't intend to. There's an element of red in the cadmium yellow and there's an element of red in the ultramarine. So we're actually mixing those three primaries together. So let's take this one step further. How can we utilize what we just know about three color mixing to actually make a better quality color. And that is simple. That is, if we take two biased colors, let's take an ultramarine and a crimson, which are both biased towards purple, to make a purple, that purple should come out very, very intense and very, very purple. Let's take a look. That is a very, very deep, deep purple. Very deep purple. Because bias towards purple, bias towards purple, make a very, very deep purple. Versus a blue, a primary blue and a primary red should make a very light purple. You can actually see in actuality, this turned out to be a very, very muddy purple, which tells me that I actually made a mistake. I took primary blue and cadmium red. Cadmium red being biased towards yellow, not primary. So let's try it again, this time with the two right colors. So you can see, totally different result. A much less muddied purple. My favorite still would obviously be this because ultramarine and crimson are both 
bias towards purple. So this purple actually turned out significantly better than the other two. So there it is. That is why your paint is coming out muddied brown. You gotta pay attention to the hues of the colors that you are using and that you are mixing. So how do you use this in like practice? So let's say you're doing an acrylic pour painting and you're loading up your cup for a flip cup or an open cup pour or anything like that. You need to make sure you're not using those muddied out, those opposite hue colors next to each other because as those colors come to mix, you can expect mud. So maybe use an isolation barrier, use a complementary color in between, use a white or a black in between those two colors or something that falls in between them. So let's say you're using an aquamarine and a cadmium yellow. Well, those together are not going to give you a green by any means. It's going to give you a very muddied out green. So maybe put a crimson in between, something that falls halfway in between that color wheel as an isolation barrier. And that will keep your paints very, very sharp and keep them out of the muddied arena. So that is it. That's all I wanted to go through. I hope you found this informative. I hope you found it helpful. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like this video and you like what we do here, please smash that like button. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Answer everybody. I would really truly love to know if you've run into this issue and you find that this will help you out. And until the next time, happy painting.